To be like Jesus, written by Ellen G. White. I will seek you, Lord. Search with all my heart till I find you. Waiting patiently, longing for one word to breathe new life. Your words are life. I will listen. Ever listen for your still small voice. Lord, I'm longing to know you more. So I will listen for your still small voice. Exploring God's Word, April 21st. Exciting experiences await Bible students. And he opened their understanding that they may comprehend the scriptures. Luke chapter 24 verse 45. Open the Bible to our youth. Draw their attention to its hidden treasures. Teach them to search for its jewels of truth. And they will gain a strength of intellect such as the study of all that philosophy embraces could not impart. The grand subject upon which the Bible treats, the dignified simplicity of its inspired utterances, the elevated themes which it presents to the mind, the light, sharp and clear from the throne of God, enlightened the understanding, will develop the powers of the mind and to an extent that can scarcely be comprehended and never fully explained. The Bible presents a boundless field for the imagination, as much higher and more ennobling in character than the superficial creations of the unsanctified intellect as the heavens are higher than the earth. The inspired history of our race is placed in the hands of every individual. All may now begin their research. They may become acquainted with our first parents as they stood in Eden, in holy innocence, enjoying communion with God and the sinless angels. They may trace the introduction of sin and its result upon the race and follow step by step down the track of sacred history as it records the disobedience of the human race and sin. The readers may hold, converse with patriarch and prophets. They may move to the most inspiring scenes. They may behold Christ, who was monarch in heaven, equal with God, coming down to humanity and working out the plan of redemption, breaking off their models the chain wherewith Satan had bound them and making possible for them to regain their godlike humanity. Christ taking upon himself humanity and preserving the level of a man for 30 years and then making his soul an offering for sin that the human family might not be left to perish is a subject for the deepest thought and the most consecrated study. People may have enjoyed the training of the schools and may have made themselves acquainted with the great writers on theology, yet truth will open to the mind and impress it with new and striking power as the word of God is searched and pondered with an earnest, prayerful desire to understand it. I will seek you, Lord. Search with all my heart till I find you. Waiting patiently, longing for one word to breathe new life. Your words are life. I will listen, ever listen for your still small voice. Lord, I'm longing to know you more. So I will listen for your still small voice. 
Join us tomorrow for another devotional reading by God's grace. And now I entrust to you God and the message of his grace that is able to build you up and give you an inheritance with all those he has set apart for himself.